guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Michelle. And I'm Ken and today we're here to talk about Ozark Season 4 Part 1. Part 1, yeah. It's one of those deals where they split it in half. Kind of taking a page out of Breaking Bad's book. Mm -hmm. I feel like that was the first series to do that. Yeah. Um, it's kind of annoying to me. Game of Thrones kind of did it, did they? No, I think their, their last season was called the final season. Yeah. Um, um, I still feel like I heard that they had drug it out somehow or well the season seven was shorter it was like seven episodes yeah. and then season eight was six so they might as well have been two half seasons yeah but yeah i wish they would just do season four and then say next season season five and they're just shorter seasons yeah. it just makes it simpler yeah we watched the the first three seasons we binged them back to back like i think at the beginning of 2020 so it was like right around the same time the third season came out yeah um, and I really like this show overall. I don't think it meets quite the same level that like a Breaking Bad did for me. Okay. Um, but I do enjoy the show. But it, it's always hard getting back into a show when you've been gone from it for like two years because yeah. you're struggling to try to remember everything. I remember right. the ending of season three, but yeah. that was, you don't remember like all the character uh, relationships and stuff until you start to yeah. get into it and the show starts to flush it out for you a little bit but um before i guess we get into talking about it and this is going to be i'd say non-spoiler in the first part and then we'll we'll tell you when we're getting ready to spoil some stuff we'll just yeah. do general thoughts but uh if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel married with media hit the subscribe button we do all kinds of uh movie and tv stuff on this uh, channel you know reviews trailer reactions right uh vlog videos in the theater just tons of that kind of stuff if you yep. like that stuff Hit the subscribe button also to like this video and please comment down below, you know, what you think of the season of Ozark because I hope that you've uh, at least seen some Ozark if you're right. watching this review. Uh, yeah, for sure. You're going to get spoiled, but we won't do this really heavy spoilers till the end. But yeah. uh, overall, what did you think of this season? Um, so I thought that this season was pretty fantastic. Yeah. Um, I had a few issues um or maybe just one <laughs> mm -hmm. um but uh overall i thought it was like super engaging and just like edge of your seat uh yeah. type of stuff and um yeah i really liked it overall how about you yeah and i think one good thing about it being seven episodes is that it does feel like there's not that much filler like it felt yeah. like it just moved Right. Um, whereas with season three, like I didn't love the brother storyline stuff, and I felt like they did a lot of filler involving him right. in the movie. Yeah. Um, it, or the TV show. I said movie, but yeah. Um, with this one, you know, they bring him up because you know, spoiler alert: if you didn't watch season three, he died at the end of season three. So they bring him up. Throughout yeah, we're the season, talking about but, Wendy's brother. Um, yeah, Wendy's brother. But I, I didn't really like all that. But yeah, this is a pretty tight season. Like it just it moved. Like you said, it was constantly engaging and. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I had a couple problems here and there, but they weren't that big. And overall, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, it definitely ended with uh, with a bang, um, which yeah. is which is what you want. It, it gets me excited for, sure. for uh, the next season for sure. Yeah, this one uh, starts off pretty much where the third season left off. You have the birds kind of in with Omar, the cartel yeah. leader. They, they just took out... Uh, uh, Helen from the third right, season yeah. and uh, that was the end of the third season so um, and he proposes to them he wants out he wants out of the the cartel game right he wants um, to be able to go like to and from uh, Mexico to yeah. the US um, he's kind of like wanting to become more of a family man yeah. um, he's, and he's like, just ready to retire from, yeah. the, from the drug cartel business I imagine that right. probably weighs on you after oh, yeah, a while for sure and I mean he's got to be what in his 40s yeah yeah so. so we have the woman from the third season that was the FBI. She's working with the birds to try yeah. to take him down, but also, like, you know, they, she wants names, she wants locations and all that stuff in right. exchange from helping uh, Omar to be able to... Yeah. Uh, retire from the business pretty much. So right. you have that going on. You have the, the drama with the Snells still with Darlene and yep. and Ruth. Ruth is working with the Snells, so you have that drama. It's just this show just really... Uh, knows how to like balance all these things together right and we talk about it when we're watching it but it's like how do they sit down and even enjoy like a family meal together oh yeah uh, when you yeah, have like all Marty of this and Wendy and stuff, uh, disaster like, just like chaos swirling around you at all yeah, times yeah there's there's so many scenes where like they're trying to be like a normal family yeah. even though everything's falling apart 
And you have um, this private investigator that's investigating them and keeps bothering them because he's looking for Helen. Right. Um, it's yeah. just all these things are happening. Yeah. Um, it just, I don't know, it's it's crazy. But I think that that does kind of show, like, the whole, like, them eating and stuff like that. I think yeah. it just tries to show, like, how deep in they really are and how it's just, like, a part of their life now. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's a good point. So, yeah. Uh, but, we yeah. Talk, this, they, they eat good, too. It's like they're, I know, they they're always eating these big, like, elaborate dinners and right. breakfast is, like, waffles and everything. Right. Um, um, but, yeah, I don't know. Um, you know, Omar... Um, you know, even though he's technically a bad guy, which at this point you could say that like Marty and Wendy are too kind of, I don't know. Yeah, they're, they're, they're all doing bad It's things. kind of like you, like you said, as far as like a storyline goes, like, you know, with Breaking Bad, like, it's like by the end of it, it's kind of like everyone's bad in their own yeah. way, you that know? That always makes a more interesting show and dynamic yeah. when everybody's kind of morally gray. And you, yeah. you don't really have like a solid person to really root for, even though the show positions the birds as like the heroes of the show. Right, especially Marty. Yeah. Um, they have definitely um, been like having Wendy kind of become more and more... Um, more, more evil. Yeah, more evil, yeah. like a little bit more uh, mentally unstable, uh, not as like yeah. clear in her thinking, like decision making. Yeah, well, she's the one that wanted to keep this stuff going because if you remember back to the end of season yeah. two, like Marty had everything lined up for them to get out of this. Yeah. And uh, she just furthered. She craved, she yeah. craved it more. Yeah. Um, that So that was one thing that bothered me uh, with this season. Yeah. Um, that I feel like they just really tried to like push on us or ingrain in us. Um, and it was just like any time they had any kind of conflict or like couldn't get someone to join them in, you know, whatever they were needing. Um, it was like Wendy would just come in and like say a few things and it's like she could just win over the person. Yeah, it was almost like a cheat that the show had. Yeah. It was like, and, like we said, all this chaos going around, right. but like Wendy could get them out of everything. Yeah. And, you know, I get that they're just trying to show that she's like become this like powerful woman or whatever. Yeah. Um, or that, you know, she's kind of the one in charge now instead of Marty. Like, I get it. But, like, I felt like it was a little too much. And yeah. I feel like probably once I brought it up to you, you probably noticed it more and more. Yeah. Um, and it on was the just, opposing side, you have Marty who's, like, bumbling around and just acting so obvious in every circumstance right, that yeah. he's in. Yeah, there were so um, many, like, scenes where he had to deal with, like, um, you know, someone who was, like, on their tail or, like... Yeah onto them and yeah he was definitely fumbling but i feel like wendy was definitely like some of the blame for yeah. that um because like i said she definitely was not thinking as clear in this season um because i feel like she is like i don't know she's obviously struggling with the death of her brother because they actually you know had him killed in the yeah. last season um and they have this whole like storyline going where it's almost like she doesn't believe he's actually dead yeah um so you have this like mental unstableness with her but yeah something else that was kind of like evolving um which they i feel like they started doing it in the last season but with the yeah. kids you know they've gotten the kids more involved into this whole thing um you know they're older now uh the daughter i think she's like 18 in this Season. Yeah, something like that, 17, She's 18. about to like go off to I think college the son's and everything. Like 14. Yeah, he's still he's still Which is kind of weird cuz I think it's mentioned a couple times in the show that it's only been like 2 years since they first moved from Chicago, but yet the, the kids are like 5 years older because uh, obviously that's well, how long the show's been on. Yeah. Um, I guess they're counting on people not to pay that close attention. <laughs> yeah. Um but I will say like this season the daughter, um Charlotte, she was definitely like kind of like I don't know, taking the reins, you know, and like she being was on the, their side, and the son was opposing them. Yeah, like where she was, it's been reversed in all the other seasons. Right. Yeah, she was definitely like, I don't know, I guess being more, you know, I don't know, mature and like just like she helping was helping them. her mom take care of certain situations. And right. She yeah. was she was running the casino when mm -hmm. they had to take trips to Mexico to see Omar and yeah, all that kind of stuff. 
Um, the, the thing with the kid actors and this, they're, they're probably the weakest part for me. Mm-hmm. And I think it's because with a lot of shows, the same thing happened with Walking Dead with, with Carl. He wasn't the strongest actor either. But like yeah. when they're kids, you don't really realize it as much. They're just child actors. But when they, when they start to grow up, it's like, you, maybe you're not going to be the best actor. Yeah. Uh, but you can't really recast at that point. I mean, you can, but it would feel a little awkward. Right. So yeah, I don't I think feel- either one of them, um, like the situations they put them in, the way they make them act, like you got the son, like laundering money and stuff. I don't think that, I don't buy that with either one of them. Gotcha. Um, and they're very wooden in their performance. It's just, yeah. it's very hard for them to show emotion. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like um, I like the daughter over Jonah. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but you know, I, I mean, they're, they're a pretty big part of the show. But yeah. And that's, that's the thing. Like when it started, I don't feel like they were as big right. a part of it. And it's kind of, they've, it's almost like they want you to accept them as like main characters. Now. Yeah. Right. And I don't think that they have the, the acting chops or range to really yeah. pull that off. Right. Uh, maybe in limited roles, but yeah, they're yeah. just not, they're not up to par when it comes to. Right. Uh, but you know the show's almost over, so it is it is what yeah. it is. They're not terrible. It's just yeah. you, you, certain line deliveries just feel kind of off to me with them. Yeah, but um, and then you know in this season we got introduced to um, Omar's uh, nephew. Yes, he kind of came and I would in. Say he's the real big bad of this season, right? Yeah, he came in and definitely added some like more layers to the show. Yeah, he was really good. Um, yeah, he was he was very good. Um, you know, definitely stirring the pot, making some trouble. You know, you've got like we mentioned, Omar wanting to like get out of it, but he's got this hot headed nephew who yeah, doesn't know he wants to get out of it. So like they're trying to right. do this behind his back while he's yeah. also on the bird's ass at the same time. So. Yeah. And he definitely like, uh, gets himself in there and he starts making more messes that the birds, uh, have yep. to clean up and, uh, definitely like added some interesting uh, storyline to the the show for sure. You know, we had Ruth. um, I feel like, you know, she gave a really good performance, um, especially in the finale. There's a very... She she was okay throughout the show. I didn't really like some things they did with her and her character. Yeah. It kind of made her seem a little dumb. Yeah. A little, little, little weak, and I always like her being a little stronger. Yeah, she was definitely struggling in this season, for sure. She was struggling with a lot of things. But the, the final episode, like, she killed it yeah the finale was definitely one of those cliffhangers yeah which we can uh get into if you want to talk about spoilers so yeah we had you know darlene she's she's been struggling this season too um she had like a heart attack yeah um and you know there was a scene where wendy just like didn't call 911 right yeah. away um but she did and so anyway she survived temporarily well, so let's talk about that scene for a second they try to make wendy seem like like evil in that moment yeah. but darlene is like a straight-up psychopath that yeah. has murdered tons of people right to let her die wouldn't be the worst thing in the world right <laughs> so it was kind of yeah. weird making it seem like a evil turn moment or something yeah i think it was just more about like okay is windy to that point yeah, i guess like at that human level it's you see somebody right. suffering like that right like it takes a special kind of person to just watch them die yeah so um she you know darlene survived temporarily yeah um and then you know she had kind of been um just like you said killing everybody just anybody yeah. who caused any kind of little yeah. Rough on her feathers. She just straight up killed him. You know, she killed uh, Frank Jr.'s dad, which he was like another like side character. Um, and then yeah, Darlene really kind of quietly stole the season a little bit for me. Like, yeah, she's always been a great character, but like she yeah, just for sure. her no bullshit attitude this season. Just like right, if, if there are problems, she just shoots them. <laughs> it I know, just yeah. doesn't matter. She doesn't care about. She's the cleanup. like. Yeah, because she's having like her health problems. She's like, screw this. I don't have time to mess I don't around. Have time for this. I'm just gonna get out my shotgun and literally yeah. put a big hole in you. But it uh, it, it definitely backfires yeah. and it, it leads to her death, uh, which is the the big moment. I'd say the big spoiler moment. Yeah, you know, she basically said that uh, you know she wasn't gonna quit selling their their drugs. Yeah. Um, you know, Omar and his hot headed 
nephew nephew um well the hot-headed nephew basically you know found out about it and he decides to just take matters into his own hands because you know marty and them were trying to like figure out how they could make it all work and the nephew was like screw that i'm not waiting so he just goes to darlene's house and you know we've got the yeah not just shoots darlene but also shoots ruth's cousin right so just um, because her and him and darlene were together what yeah which was a whole nother story (laughs) that that was a uh i expected it to happen but i half expected something to happen to not make it happen like i almost expected them to like cut a deal together and go against the birds together yeah but no, he just straight up shoots them both in the yeah, head. Yeah, it was a very intense scene, and I was very. like, whoa, did that just happen? And um, then Ruth comes in right after, sees her cousin dead, and she flips out. She flips yeah. out. She goes to the birds because she thinks that they had something to do with it, and they're like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, and, you know, she just loses, loses it. it because her cousin was literally, like, the only one that she truly cared about, and so now he's dead. So we got a big cliffhanger definitely ready to find out what happens in the next part do you know when the next part is supposed to come out um i think i don't think it's this year it'll probably be next year oh wow okay so, so yeah that's torture but, but yeah one thing i bring it so the show begins with a car wreck a big car wreck and we yeah. feel like it's going to end with that but it doesn't it so didn't, we didn't no. get any closure on that so i imagine that's going to happen in the next season well yeah there has to be some relevance to so, it overall though i really enjoyed the season i would give it a nine out of ten Okay. Um, not perfect. Had some problems with it, but yeah. I would give it a 9 out of 10. I think it's one of the sh- strongest seasons. Uh, I liked it better than 3. Mm-hmm. I don't know about 1 and 2, but I liked it better than season 3. Gotcha. Yeah, I think a 9 out of 10 is a good a good rating for this season. Um, yep. It was definitely very entertaining. So. Yep. But that's our review of Ozark Season 4 Part 1. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely yep. check it out on Netflix if you're interested at all. Hopefully you've already checked it out, though, if you've watched this whole review. But yep. uh, definitely like, comment down below your thoughts, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and turn on those bell notifications. We'll see you all later. Bye.